Hey, what is up guys, I Dubai Help here. Today I wanna to show you how to set a passcode and protect any application on your iPhone. In case you ever leave your iPhone laying around, unlocked, you still have a secondary layer of protection by locking individual applications with a passcode. Now, there's a very similar method for this in iOS 12, but there's been quite a bit of improvements to this feature and changes that I thought it was worth an updated video. And I'll show some of the differences of iOS 12 versus iOS 13 and how much Apple has improved this feature. Now, the first thing you wanna do is head on over to settings, and this is going to be using screen time. Now, screen time, of course, allows you to set limitations for anything on the iPhone if you're monitoring another device or even yourself. So the first thing you wanna do is set a passcode for screen time. I already have one, so I'm going to turn it off and reset it just to show you how you do it. So use screen time passcode right here. Go ahead and click and set the passcode that you want. Once you set the passcode, and next you want to go to the categories, always allowed. And here, under the always allows categories, you have to remove any application from this list that you don't want to have access to when the limitations expire. So let me explain myself. Let's head on over to app limits. This is where we can lock individual applications. This is where we will apply the limitations. So difference from iOS 13 and iOS 12 is that, for example, if we go to social networks and we tap here, we have the ability to lock individual application. Unlike iOS 12, so here's an iOS 12 device. If we go to screen time and we go to app limits, right here we can add a limitation or a limit. If we click on social networks, it requires all social network applications to be locked. It doesn't give you the option to set individual. So this is a big, big difference because you can set individual applications with iOS 13. And there's also additional changes that I want to share. But first, let me show you how to set the app limit and also restrict the application. So let's say you want to go ahead and lock the messages app so no one has access to the messages in case you leave your iPhone unlocked. Click next. And here's going to ask you, what time do you want this app to be allowed to be running on your device? So if you set it for only one minute, every single day for only one minute, this app will be unlocked for you. That means that for the rest of the day, the messages application will be grayed out and will be locked. Now, in order to ask for more time, it would ask you to enter the passcode, therefore restricting the application and locking the application on your iPhone using a passcode. So let's go ahead and head on back here and set another limit, for example, for the photos application. So let's say you wanna lock the photos application and photos should be right here. Let's go ahead and click on photos and set a time just like we did one minute here and this will lock the application for the entire day. However, if we go back, you see that the photos app still not locked in place. So head on over to settings, always allow. And this is where I was talking about where you have to remove the app from this particular category here. So go back and to always allow category, find the photos application, remove it from the list. And then this app will be actually locked in place and it would ask you for the passcode before you launch it. So always keep in mind when you set an app limit, make sure that app isn't under the always allows categories. Make sure it is removed and it is under the second category where the apps are pretty much locked in place. So there it is. Now the uh, photos application can't be accessed because of course we only have a one minute limitation and it would ask us uh, to enter the screen time passcode in order to access the application. So the advancements here, the uh, improvements over iOS 12 is the ability to set individual apps to be locked. And I hope you guys really enjoy this new feature. If you haven't used it just yet, let me know if you're using it, if it's working properly for you. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.